What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Justice Falls. We back at it again with another video, and today we're going to be looking at a blast from the past. All right, so you you read you read the title. Um, how I came across this was um, I was I was on this website called uh, Internet Archive, and I was catching up on a uh, on a podcast, the Joe Budden podcast. For those of you who are or are not familiar with it, there's been some drama going on with the show and the staff. He uploaded the episode where he fired one of his co-workers, one of, one of his, uh, well, one of his employees. He's the boss, um, and that's what was, that was what was a part of the problem. And he deleted the episode. But what you can do is you can take um, content that has been like, t like, like let's say somebody took something down before that. You can download it. You can upload it to this Internet Archive site. So um, that's what I'm looking at right now, and I was just listening to the podcast, catching up on all of the all of the tea, all of the drama. But um, I got something special for this for this one um, because I came across something else that I hadn't seen in a long time. So uh, before we get started, um, I just want to let you guys know I do have a website, www.justicefalls.com, and uh, there you can see my latest and greatest content and uh, also my merch. So you can go check that out. So without further ado, let's start the video. All right, so here you see the uh, Internet Archive. I was looking at the Joe Budden podcast here. You, you have options to download it. Um, you, you can put this, any type of audio up on this site. You know, maybe some videos that was taken down, uh, audio that was taken down. They have web, books, video, audio, software, and, and old uh, images. Uh, so when I clicked on web, it took me to the uh, Wayback Machine. So in the Wayback Machine, you can go and look at old links from back in the day so i decided to go look at my old youtube channel from back in when i started i started in i started as you can see here march 16th 2012 let me uh full screen this um march 16th 2007 actually i said 2012 i'm bugging um at that time at the time of the screenshot which was september of 2008 i had last signed it an hour ago there was 957 uh videos watched 9,573 videos watched. I only had 10 subscribers and only 698 views. So, you know, I came, I came a long way. I've been doing this YouTube stuff a long time. I took a long break. I probably stopped making videos around 2000, probably 2011, 2011, 2012. And then I came back and uh, started making videos again. I have a video explaining, um, you know my journey and all of that you know you can you can check that out I'll, I'll throw it up in the in the link somewhere you know and they give you more detail but i just wanted to check this out these videos are all flash so since adobe flash rip and no longer exists you can't see these videos most of these videos are really old this was back when they had the star rating system where you had to rate a video uh between one and five stars this was just comedy stuff um, my collection so far was just a uh, video game collection camera shot. This was just me doing skits with my family doing skits with my family. Remember this. I remember what that was. This was my first, uh, one of my first videos that I edited completely on my own. Well, I actually got a decent amount of views. Okay. Um, nah, no way. This got 49,000. What video was this? Remember this. This got almost 59, how, what? So how's my channel view 698 for my total views? But the view on this video alone is for, was over 49,000. I don't even remember what video this was. Remember this. I can't even tell y'all what this was. It's probably not even gonna load. Nope, because I deleted all my old videos. I had definitely deleted all my old videos. This channel I have now, is literally this same channel, but I had deleted all my old videos. So anyway, um, moving on along, let's go through my bio. This is gonna be so cringy. <laughs> uh, I speak the truth. That was my channel tag. That I was I was on that for a minute. Um, anything hot, <laughs> and I'm really 17. Was I 17 at the time? Yeah, I was. I was. I was definitely 17 at the time. I had to put 20 because when you're 17, 
they didn't allow you to watch uh uh 18 plus video like you know how they have the rating like they have the uh video rating warning like nowadays it's for it'll ask you up in this video for kids if you put no then you can put an age restriction on it 18 plus so i wasn't able to watch the video so i had to lie about my age so i just put 20. so um in my bio here we go uh trying to get a new camera so i can put up some vids of myself just me acting stupid because i consider myself funny and so do the people i hang with <laughs> that sounds like something i would say little pretentious bastard <laughs> so um yeah, this this was all of the comedy videos. I had only had seven videos at the time. This one blew up, apparently. This one did decent, and the rest of them was just kind of low. But this one had a good rating on it. Um, as you can see, I enjoy anime, basketball, and funny stereotypical movies. That is still true to this day. One of my favorite my favorite movie to this day is um, Don't Be a Menace to South Central While Drinking Your Juice in the Hood, and that's probably what this is. I'm pretty sure I ripped like a piece of that movie. And made it into a video somehow that's probably what this is that's what i'm guessing this is so um hometown new york new york i'm still in new york um uh, interest in hobby sports video games tv anything to keep active that's still true uh movies and shows heroes robot chicken naruto bleach steve harvey show don't be a myth soft central while drinking you in the hood see i've been jacking that movie um etc music rock rap anything but country see now country grew on me country like back then I, I didn't really care for country like i'm the type of person even at even when i was at that age at 17 i was i was listening to everything but i never really um got country i never really liked it but uh what really got me in the country was uh darius rucker Darius, I uh, listened to a Darius Rucker song i didn't even know black people did country music to be honest with y'all um but it was it was dope. I, I I actually listened to a couple of his songs and I got into like Keith Urban and all of that. Then I got into like country, like trap country music where they talking them, which I guess they call it redneck country. I don't know. And I ended up I, I like country now. I, I can't I can't name you ten songs right now, but I I do like country. I do like country. So um, here is the uh, the media page you can share and connect. You can send the messages. This is when they made it a little easier to send messages. Um, now I don't, I'm not sure how you would do it unless, unless you go through the community tab, but you don't get the community tab unless you have like 10,000 subscribers or your official artist page. Like my fit, my page is an official artist page because I'm signed with, um, distro kid. So they have extra perks where you can, you can, you can, uh, use for other profiles around the internet to help yourself get to your fans and make money and stuff like that. So add a comment this was channel comments channel comments are down here um i don't i only only have three so this is just people people would just stop by and, and like it's like they're writing on your wall like yo what's good you know that video was dope da, da, da. and then you have bulletins where you can post uh no from your subscriptions the people that you subscribe to they can post up stuff and it'll appear in your bulletins it's kind of like your subscription box now they still have favorite videos some of these still work. Let me let me let me try to click on one. See if it'll show up and give you the OG page. Nah, not that one. I, I swear I tried this before I got on. Let me see if it'll work. Yeah, see here we go. This is how YouTube used to look back in the day. This was a flash player. You be, you you'd be like enable flash, boom, it'll pop up. And this is what YouTube used to look like. This is how I look back in the day. You get more videos from the from the uh, from the poster. This is Afion Crockett. I used to I used to I used to go hard on Afion Crockett. Like I used to watch all the Afion Crockett videos. Um, and this is from September of 2008, September 12th. And then all the related videos were down in here. You know. And then we then you had to promote the pr the promo stuff, like the sponsored videos and things like that, down here. So. It doesn't really look much different. And then you here you see the stars rating like I was talking about. Um, you can add it to a playlist. You can flag it. There used to be an option where you could respond to videos. That's how a lot of people got their name up back in the day. You were able to go to somebody's video and then click response. And then they had a tab down here that says, here we go, response videos. I mean, video responses. Yeah, you can, you can sign in a direct response to their video. 
and they would appear under the, the main the main person's channel so let's say you got a, a youtuber with a million subscribers back then or whatever the the, the cap was back then the, the highest person had back then um and you wanted to comment on, on a video yeah you could just be you could make your own response video and then off of them you could probably you could catch catch some type of clout catch a few spot catch a few uh catch a few um what's your names uh views now they have this thing where you can you can tag you, you put you, you type the uh the at symbol and you can ask people in your comments or the title of the video so i think they kind of bringing that back like okay i'm responding to this person or this person was in the video or this this video is made for this person you know so i think that's dope um you can see the old search bar you can search by videos or channels and they also had the filters sign in up here and then you can also upload up here and before they had the little you was able to do a little banner right here above your uh above your name here and then your channel tags embed codes because because before back in the day you know there was a more more of a sense of uh coding back then because you were able to grab this um grab this code this um what is, i think it's called like rss code or something like that or cs code or something like that grab it and then you can put it on your facebook page you can embed it to your youtube page people don't really do that no more but you know that was a that was a dope feature to to help get so people show like all right this is my favorite song all right this is my favorite this is my newest video this is my newest song out so going back to my page um you also have friends you can add friends and stuff on there you know y'all can communicate through the message through the messenger the messenger system i don't know why they took that out um and here you see because flash doesn't exist no more you have it um this is where you put your featured videos that hasn't changed much all of this layout was possible to change and people would put like images over here in the back this is when i first started so i didn't really know how to do all that stuff but i had images in the back here my own custom stuff my band stuff and all of that I, I was subscribed to 23 people at the time ace of the comic that was one of the legends back then kevin Kraft. that yo yo i'm just having just nostalgia right now like yo y'all can tell i'm all over here cheesing and stuff like this was classic youtube and before y'all try to cancel me for this keep in mind i was 17 i don't know what that was about this video doesn't even exist anymore um i probably like rated it because when as as of now like when you like stuff it brings it up in the algorithm i probably five started so that i could get more notoriety so people could see it and people could expose the person that was doing that so before y'all try to cancel me don't even think about it because there ain't no cancel culture ain't gonna stop me and the person that, and the person so the person that uploaded it was kev jumba i'm pretty sure he's like really big now probably has like a million subscribers or something like that but um yeah this is just a dope trip down memory lane so like if you ever wanted to see like how youtube used to look back in the day before you join you just go type in any users any user or just type in youtube and then it'll show it'll show you up here on this timeline like who you know who's you know how however many captures they have i'm not sure how the capture system works but yeah this guy has three three million subs so this is how youtube used to look around 2014. this was like the the big revamp of youtube um during this time i wasn't really i wasn't making videos i was playing music and stuff um i will i, I would probably upload a video here and there to my band's youtube but that's about it but yeah i wasn't around during this time i know a lot of people that came up with during this time and now they're huge so it's like I kind of I kind of be having regrets sometimes because I wish that you know that I would have jumped jumped into YouTube or stayed into it, seeing how these people came up. I be I be I remember when this dude had like a hundred thousand subscribers. You know what I mean? Now he has now well as of as of twenty fourteen he has three million. I wonder how much he has now. So as of December, okay, you can't see it, but you know that's just a that's just an example of uh the things you can do with this uh archive I, it's just nice to to look at how things used to be and see how far you've come because i got 10 subscribers i have 208 now um and i just started back last year so i i lost a lot of subscribers i gained a lot of subscribers over the years because i was putting out content i think the most i remember having was like two or three hundred subscribers before i stopped uploading videos and obviously that went down because people stopped subscribing because i stopped uploading content but 
um, uh, since then I've gained I think 95 or 100 subscribers in my first year back and this is not even like not even really know I'm still don't I still don't really know what I'm doing but um this is just me this, this is just me my first year back you know first year back on the grind doing consistent content and i was able to gain 95 subscribers i think that's pretty cool and my channel views is like i think like 17,000 or something like that and i have like 100 something videos up um a lot of people will say that ratio is not good but i mean the more you upload the more you grow i was just looking at a youtuber named cj so cool he blew up real quick he does like family content and like he has jewelry and cars and things of that nature that he shows off and he was saying he was doing 15 videos a day when he first started his youtube channel like his brother put him on got him started and he just started uploading 15 videos a day i've never done 15 videos a day the most videos i've uploaded a day was probably like probably 10 or well, the most videos i've recorded in a day was 10 probably 10 but i don't know if i got them all uploaded in a day that, and that was rough i was doing that um last year just to just to test things out i'm still trying things out to show seeing how this youtube things work this youtube thing works but um yeah so you, you i feel like you know quantity quantity is good but it has to be quality as well like you can't just upload 10 15 bs videos then then it's you're not you're not gonna get no views you know you have to take your time and think about what type of content you want to put out like this video just came on a whim but I'm pretty sure after this video, people are gonna be like, yo, I wanna go see my old YouTube channel. Cause a lot of people don't know about this. A lot of people don't know about Wayback Machine. So um, yeah, so definitely check, definitely check this out. This was just a peek at my old uh, YouTube channel. I've been around, been around since 2007. Even, even when I wasn't uploading, I was still commenting and commenting and subscribing to people and watching content. So I've been doing this thing for, for a while and now I'm definitely, now I'm finally taking it serious. So, um, if you like this video like comment subscribe show me tell me what your page your old page was like tell me when you first started on started on youtube you know let me know let's, let's have a discussion about it you know so like i said like comment subscribe all that good stuff this is your boy justice falls and we out